Aaron, when I say there are 27 days between now and the day that Yankee pitchers and catchers report, you say the following is on your to-do list. What's still left for you to accomplish? We got to hire a coach. We're, we're still going through the process and hopefully getting close to uh, hiring a coach to obviously replace Bam Bam, who, who got the head job uh, over with, with Colorado. So still in the process of doing that. Want to get that ironed out. Um, <clears throat> we are, you know, we, we have some things to, to go through as a staff. You know, we've, we've obviously start to really dive into these new rules, how it impacts us. Uh, how we want to implement it, how we want to train for it, prepare for it, prepare our players for it. So those kind of conversations that we'll have in er more earnesty with with the entire group, with the entire coaching staff and staff. Um, and then just, you know, getting down there and uh, we have a number of guys down there already uh, working out every day at Himes. So um excited uh that it's upon us you know it, it, you get home from you know we went on vacation for the day after christmas and got back on new year's day and, and it's like that's your last kind of disconnect and you get back and it's like okay it's time <laughs> um so that clock is certainly ticking uh we feel ready excited and uh can't wait to get down there and get going so speaking of clocks, since you brought up the new rules how likely are you to have pitchers even throwing bullpens with a pitch clock in play just to get them ready for what they're going to face during the season. Oh yeah. That we'll, we'll have them on every field. Uh, we're starting to order them and how we get them and trying to make sure we have people able to operate them all the time, whether it's on the two small fields in the back, we'll probably have a couple in our five pack in the, in the bullpen area. Um, so we're, that's one of the things we've started to lay the groundwork for already. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, things like that will, you know, speed up that process. You know, I'm not too worried about a long, long term. I think it's going to be a really good thing. I think guys will enjoy it eventually. And it'll be a good thing, but I think there'll be a handful of players that it'll be an adjustment in those early days of spring training in those early spring games. When we talk about pitching, you've been quoted this offseason as saying you think that the Yankees currently have the best starting rotation possibly that you've ever had as a manager, but you'll be missing one piece of that to start the season in Frankie Montas. How concerned are you, Aaron, about the lingering shoulder inflammation that he's dealing with? Well, I think an important note on that is in, uh, on the, the best pitching staff we've had. I certainly think that's potentially the case in what we're – capable of when whole um you know but i also caution that it's january and that's on paper and we got to go out and, and prove it and show people that and we look forward to that we know we have a lot of talented people in our in our rotation with frankie um you know he, he's going to be a little bit behind um hopefully it's something that you know we're working through right now and the biggest thing though with frankie is getting him right and well and we feel like obviously when we have that we feel like we got another frontline pitcher so but but it's probably going to be a little behind i know it's only january and he has to do all the things that you just referenced but what type of target date do you have for him to be able to pitch the major league game no target but but you know hopefully if everything goes well where he starts throwing in the next few days you know we're in january so that's a pretty long on-ramp um you know to put him into position you know Again, we're going to play it conservatively with it because, you know, he has kind of had this lingering nuisance thing going on over the last, you know, half a year. Um, so we want to be smart with it, be conservative with it, make sure he's in a really good spot that when he does join the rotation, he's flying. But I, I wouldn't want to put a date on that, um, you know, until he starts throwing and, you know, then you graduate and get to the point where you're long toss into, into your bullpens and, and hopefully that's a... That, that goes well here over the next few weeks. Aaron, you're the manager of the New York Yankees, but you're also a devoted fan of the Philadelphia Eagles, who happened to play the Giants this weekend in the playoffs. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you right out of the chute who's going to win. I need to ask this from a New York angle because most of our viewers are going to favor the Giants. Yeah. What worries know, you're, you're getting me in trouble even more now, huh? What worries you as an Eagles fan about the Giants? First of all, I think Brian Dable and his staff have come in and, and done an amazing job in proving proving themselves as as an elite coaching staff that um, you know has a very buttoned up team. Um, we've seen obviously Daniel Jones 
go to another level. One that I actually predicted when people were writing him off the last couple of years. Um, you know, they just do a lot of things really well. Um, they're, you, you feel like they're probably not going to beat themselves. Um, and, you know, I think the biggest thing is it looks like a, a team that is starting to enter a period where they're going to be an outstanding team in the NFC for, for a number of years. All right, we need a prediction. You've got to give us a prediction on the game. Uh, I think the Eagles are going to beat them pretty good. I really do. I, I, I think Hurts is healthy. Um, he may not be 100%. The old cliche, who is 100% at this time? I think he is fairly healthy, though, and going to be able to do anything. They're going to get Lane Johnson back on the offensive line. Um, I've been watching the Eagles for over 40 years. I feel like it's the most complete team I've ever seen them have. Um, and I think with, with, with the two weeks rest um, and, and really able to get a couple of guys probably healthy, especially Hertz and Lane Johnson, um, I, think they, I think they win in convincing manner. Wow. Okay, I'm going Giants 24-17 in part because Bob Papa is the Giants play-by-play -play voice, and he and I were college radio partners. So I'm cheering for his vocals as much as I'm cheering for the uh, Giants. But uh, we'll see what happens this weekend. And Aaron, as always, we, we appreciate you giving us some time. Yeah, you're on the wrong end of that score there, Jack. No, not too late to adjust that.